Hello guys, I'm the Anime Uprise, and today we're doing a video that's a little bit different. Before my top 10 anime stuff, or top 5, everything like that, was on the computer to uh, convey through pictures, or just a single picture of me talking over it. But this time, it's a little bit different. I'm honestly just going to be on the camera. I wanted to recommend some anime for people for who just get into anime, gateway anime. And I'm going to start off uh, with this video with the bonus one. But we'll get that and we'll get to that in a second. Let's go to the intro now. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start with the bonus anime. Bonus anime is first, or no, anime number six is going to be good old Death Note. Honestly, I'm gonna tell you a little story before I begin, because like, why not make the video longer, right? <sighs> so my story, I'm first gonna tell you the story is um how I got someone into anime and how I made a friend to get a plain person who didn't really a gamer into an anime person, so. It's not that far apart, but I still got him a damn And that person, you guys may know him or may not know him. But you guys should so advertise this guy on my channel a ton. The story of games, actually. <laughs> I got him into anime through Death Note. Yeah, this is number six. Number six is Death Note, guys. Death Note is about. Uh, it's like. Uh, the series that involves a Death Note. Like an old book of death. Right, someone's name in it, they die <laughs> in 40 seconds or less or something like that. And this it's really a, a cop anime, it's like, um, like a cat and mouse anime, like, you like, they're both the like, detective side and, um, the light or like the main character who has a death note. They face off, the first one who discovers each other loses, so it's like a really cool deathmatch sort of to deal with it. And honestly, this, this is good for any. Newcomers, like, like I said before, I got story games into this anime. I recommend the anime, watched it, and that's how it went down. Like, he, he's still into anime to this day, so which is actually surprising because I never really got anyone to anime for this long. So it's kind of. eh. Now let's get down to the actual list because I just wanted to mention Death Note real quick. Okay, first off, at the bottom of the list, I'm gonna have to put Fairy Tale. The reason why this is volume 54 is because I randomly have this book through um, this little lucky box I got at Anime Convention. This just sort of came there, and I was like, oh. Alright. So, yeah, this book is like an average, or this series is like an average shonen. Um, it's really, really basic. Like, it's really, really, really for beginners, and I'm not even sure if you'll watch the entire thing. But I guarantee if you give it a shot, you might like it. Like, I've read the whole manga since I watched the whole anime, and the final season of the anime is coming out this year. So it's actually pretty good. Like, Hiroma Ashima is a good person, a good person, a good artist, and a good storyteller, well, sort of. But honestly, I really think you guys will like it for newcomers. Again, newcomers, guys. And mostly for showing for, for boys, teens, you know, like that. For shonen anime, so fa fairy tale is really the, a basic shonen anime. So, pretty sure people trying into anime should know about it by now at least. So yeah, the story involves like it's just a big world of magic, wizards from the fairy tale guild. Main character is I'm not really sure who the main character is. Pretty much either Natsu or Lucy. It's kind of wishy washy there. But yeah, honestly, guys, um. I this series is about friendship and power. You probably heard that like, meme going around the anime community a lot. Um, yeah, friendship and power, you know, all that. Um, cool fight scenes, cool music, really good music. Everything like that. It's, it's really good stuff. Like, guys, I really recommend you watch Fairy Tale. Again, all these anime I'm mentioning right now are anime and manga, of course, since I'm pulling the manga. Um, I love dearly. Like, I. Pretty sure most of these anime I've watched to completion, or I've been reading currently. So honestly, guys, um, watch the retail. It's great. Or read the manga. 
I honestly prefer the anime because the soundtrack is godlike and the voice effect is pretty alright for English. I'm not sure about the sub version because I haven't watched the sub version. But yeah. I feel like you can get sub better, but if you're a newcomer, you shouldn't really know what your preference is right now. So if you're still a newcomer, you know, fine. Anyways, let's get on to the next topic. I've been lingering on number one or number five for too long. Bleach. Okay, we're having a lot of these, like, big ones. But again, like I said before, I'm gonna really emphasize that this is for newcomers, okay? People who, like, are watch anime, are deep into anime. Okay. This, bit, this list isn't for you. Like, why are you watching this video? Like, why are you on for beginners? Or newcomers? Like, this is for newcomers, like, directly trying to get into anime. And I'm just talking anime that got me into anime, so... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Anyways, Bleach involves Soul Reapers, Paulos, and uh, Quincy's and all this other stuff. And they're just people who fight the demons and with really cool fight scenes. Like, again, showing is full of fight scenes. It looks really cool. It sounds really cool. And it's pretty old, so the animation might be outdated, but <laughs> who knows, man. But I really do love this series. Like, it's great. It has all the stuff you need for it. And really... I think you'll be fine if you watch it. Again, I'm really just recommending anime here. Like, I'm not really telling you the story or the synopsis of the books. I'm just really recommending this stuff because I know you guys might like it and it might be a, a really cool anime to see. And for me personally, I finished the Bleach anime. I've read the manga to completion. I've done all this other stuff. And wow. Bleach is great. And I really think... You guys should watch it or read it. But yeah, read it. I'm, I, I personally enjoy the manga a lot more for Bleach, but that's my preference. So like, I would either just say read it, but if you want to get into anime itself, it's really better. <laughs> manga is harder to get into. So yeah, I was just watching the anime first if you're a newcomer. But if you like, if you like to read your manga, you're reading books, and I really just read, give you the manga a try. Like, it's not a bad read. We got Dragon Ball, or Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball DT, Dragon Ball Super, you know, whatever the case. Whew. And, wow, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a story. This video's gonna be really long. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of a story. This anime, or manga, or whatever you want to call it, was my very first anime ever. And it got me into anime, so I had to put this on the list, even though I don't really watch it that much anymore. Well, actually, I watch it every week. Never mind, because I watch Dragon Ball Super every week. So yeah, uh, Dragon Ball Z was the first anime I ever watched, and in fact, back when I was a kid, I bought this volume, and I didn't even care what volume it was. I saw Dragon Ball Z, and I picked it up. <laughs> so I don't even know what's going on, man. Like, I just bought volume 22, and it, Without even thinking, because I was a kid, I just wanted to buy Dragon Ball, so I got it. But Dragon Ball Z, just an anime, like, has is known for the best fight scenes, I'm, I think. In my opinion, it has the best fight scenes of all. If you want, if you like fighting, if you like action-packed stuff, and lots and lots of screaming, then you'll know. With that back in music to boot, um, this anime should be for you. Like... Awesome fight scenes, good characters, goofy characters, you, you can probably find the character you like in there. And if you're, and as you say, two teams, Vegeta versus Goku, I'm on Goku's side because you don't make character, and yeah. This is really a personal bug for me, like I still have it, like, this book's been mistreated so much because I was a kid, you know, I bought this, I had really you no know, respect for anything, I bought it, and I forgot about it, and then like one day I went back to my old house to grab... Some, a book I lost before I moved out, and, well, I found this, and I was actually like, oh frick, I, I read it again, and I was like, yeah, I still love this anime and manga, I might go my way to read the whole manga series by itself, but yeah, for Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball GT, you know, all these stuff, <laughs> if you like fighting, you like fighting, that's all you gotta know, that's all you gotta like in order to watch this. It's going to be Bakuman. Okay, for me, since I was like in grade, I don't know, six, seven, I've been wanting to become a manga artist ever since, even though 
I'm terribly bad at drawing, but I have lots of good stories, I think. And when I saw this anime, like when I was looking up YouTube on free videos to like watch, frick, love minutes, to watch on YouTube, and I was like, hey, I want to look up some videos. And this one video, I can't remember the videos, what the video is called, so I recommend you read this manga, Bakuman. And I was like, all right, I'll go watch the manga. Or, <laughs> I'll go. Um, watched the anime and I was like, this is good. I was really invested and when I figured out Tsukumi Oba and Takashi Obata was the same authors for um, Death Note, I was like, whoa man, <laughs> these guys can write a lighthearted story too. And I was really invested into the romance, into the manga creation process, and it shows you like the rough drafts of the series in between chapters, and I was very, very very invested into this. I'm actually going back and watching the rewatching the anime, rereading some of the manga, and I want to actually complete my manga set. Like I only got three volumes of this. And after rewatching the anime, I was like, "Hey, I want to collect all the Pokemon for my collection." And I was, and so I'm, right now I'm in the middle of that. I've been trying to collect some more Pokemon, and in fact, I can't wait to get all of these and just go through a big binge read when I get them all. Just read the whole series again. It'll be a good blast in the past, and wow. So yeah, if you like manga in any way, if you want to draw, you like stories, you like writing, and like all this other stuff, and you like a good romance, honestly, um, pick this up, or like, pick this manga up, or just go watch the anime anywhere you can find it, and I guarantee it either be a good read, or it will be a good watch, and it should get you into the anime community. And currently airing anime, My Hero Academia, I'm sure, this is this is new. That's what I recommend. It's new anime. It's fairly new anyway, and it's still one of the biggest anime and manga out there right now. And I thought, hey, since it's it's a current airing anime and it's really popular and it has all these good things about it, I thought it has to be for one since it, it, we're not back in the old days, Dragon Ball Z or Naruto and stuff like that. That series or era is just ending. So the new one is My Hero Academia. And I was like, okay, well this has to be number one, right? Because this is the new popular anime. The new generation is starting up for anime, so it's like, hey, we need this to be number one, right? And freaking, it really fits number one spot. Like, this is one of my favorite shown in anime right now, actually. Besides Dragon Ball, since I have, like, <laughs> a bias towards Dragon Ball because it's my first anime, right? Like, usually when you have your first anime, which I don't think you guys would know yet, um, you would usually have a bias towards it because you know you love the, it was your first anime, it was your gateway, and yeah. <laughs> so I'm hoping some of you will get a, a, a bias towards this one because you know it will be your first anime if you want. So yeah, guys, uh, <laughs> My Academia Man has good fight scenes, good music. Have you ever heard you say run? That's great. That's really great. <laughs> great music, great characters. In fact, one of its biggest, biggest plus sides on this is it focuses more than focuses on more characters besides the main character. It fo focuses on the support cast a lot more than each other show anime do. It focuses on a lot of this stuff. It focuses a lot more on other characters besides Deku, which is the, the green guy with the green hair, you know. And it focuses more on the world building, it focuses more on all this other stuff. It really builds all, all, all its cast. Not just the main character in the small select group, which it still has that small select group of characters, but it focuses on other characters too, not just those main four or five characters in the loop. So honestly, this anime or manga is easy to get into, and it has the whole bunch of plus sides, good soundtrack, good action scenes, good story, and it's perfect for newcomers, in my opinion. Whew! I gotta stop talking so loud and fast, but this is honestly... If I, did, if I talked a lot slower, this video would be like longer than this. Like, it's 15 minutes long by now. I don't want it to be like a 30 minute video, like... <laughs> so I'm talking fast. Of course, I'll probably edit this a lot, and I'm gonna try to focus on a lot more videos. Try to, try to put more videos that people are gonna search for. And yeah, <laughs> so guys... And also, you probably noticed I took in a new corner or recording a new sort of setup thing. Cause I'm not recording like like this. Like, like Kamiji's right here. Number six with really 
My camera's right there. I'm recording from my computer. No, no, I, this time I'm just recording from my desk. And honestly, I like it better. So, Whew. hopefully, you enjoyed the list, though, guys. Like, if you want more lists like this, like I can, I can make more like for more anime for towards like etchy lovers. Uh, towards more, I can just make a list of more shonen. I can make a different list if you wish. Like I might just be as good. I might do more lists because I'm starting to do that now. Um, and anime discussions too. And also check out my Twitter. I might occasionally ask for questions. Which the next video will be on my favorite anime. Like, um, I didn't see my favorite anime up there yet. I don't think I did anyway. So if you want to look for anime, subscribe. And yeah, I'll put that as probably the next video. Anyways, it's 17 minutes long, and I do want to get this video edited. So. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell right down there. And also, I have a Twitter account. Check that out, too. I have Instagram, Twitter, you know, Facebook. Check that all out. I try. I really, really try to post stuff on Instagram, Twitter, and stuff. And since, like I said before, I like doing manga art. I post some of my art, which is not that great, by the way, on my Instagram, which I'll leave in the description below. And with all that said, guys... Uh, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you guys all next time.